Have you heard or read many negative comments that have left you to believe that research is a very stressful and difficult subject to take? I know your answer to this is yes. Research can be a very intimidating and overwhelming course, but it can also be a much more interesting and fascinating subject to explore. Research is more than just a course requirement in senior high school or in college. So we will begin by defining research and knowing the objectives of research. Well, so much for the introduction. Again, this is Mom Kat and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's go! After watching this video, you will be able to first define what is research, next is to give the importance of research in daily life, and lastly, compare and contrast basic and applied research. Nature of Inquiry and Research First, let us define research. So, what is research? Research is a systematic study of materials and sources to discover new information. That's according to Walker in 2010. According to Crawford, as cited by Alcantara and Espina in 1995, research is a verified approach of thinking and employing legalized instruments and steps to obtain a more adequate solution to a problem that is otherwise impossible to address under ordinary means. Also, research is a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information on a specific topic. Therefore, research focuses on two things. We have the knowledge and we have solutions. Research is a search for knowledge and solutions through objective and systematic method of finding solution to a problem. It is also an original contribution to the existing stock of knowledge making for its advancement so we try to advance we try to improve a certain knowledge or a certain theory or information by conducting research so how do you solve a problem let's say for example you're hungry you know you want to eat something it's just that you know it's time for you to decide and to find for a solution to quench your hunger now this time in order to satisfy your cravings what you're going to do is to think of ways on how to solve this particular problem so there are a couple of solutions you have to let's say you can order online through mobile applications and have the food delivered at home or you can just simply go outside go to the nearest convenience store and purchase your food or your snacks or if you don't want to go outside or you don't want to have food delivery you can just cook your food yourself this is the same with research you know however research on a more complex sense it follows a systematic procedure that involves the following so we have emphasizing the problem formulating a hypothesis collecting facts or data analyzing facts and then reaching certain conclusions either in the form of solutions or generalizations so why do we conduct research actually there are two main purposes of research we have to gather answers to questions through the applications of scientific procedures so we don't just simply search we don't just simply ask for advice but we follow we apply different scientific procedures to answer questions and aside from answering questions we also find the truth we find out the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered yet so what are the different objectives of research first is to familiarize or obtain fresh insights about a phenomenon second is to accurately describe a person a situation or a group 
Third is to determine frequency or association and to test the hypothesis of causal relationships between variables. We have two major categories of research. We have the basic research and the applied research. So what's the difference between the two? Let us find out. Basic research versus applied research. Basic research, also known as pure research or fundamental research, focused on improving the understanding of a particular phenomenon, study, or law of nature. It usually involves how, what, and why questions to explain occurrences. And basic research also mainly is concerned with generalizations and with the formulation of a theory. On the other hand, applied research is a type of examination looking to find practical solutions for existing problems. These can include challenges in the workplace, education, and society. So here are some of the examples. So, I have here three examples of uh, basic research. So, let's have the first one and let's try to analyze why these three topics are considered as basic research. So, the first one is a study looking at how alcohol consumption impacts the brain. So, this is definitely a basic research. So, if you could still remember, our definition of basic research is to understand a specific phenomenon. So, to deeply analyze or to deeply understand a specific event or a specific body of knowledge. So, in number one, so here, it doesn't solve a particular problem. So, it doesn't give you practical solutions but instead it the, it wants to look into it wants to examine how or how alcohol consumption affects or impacts the brain so definitely this is a basic research or peer research so this is the same with number two so number two is a study assessing whether stress levels make people more aggressive so this is very common in the humanities and social sciences research where it studies about behavior and emotions so in this case this study of course wants to know how the stress level or the level of stress of a person um, affects or does it make a person more aggressive if his or her stress level is higher or lower so does the stress level directly affect or makes the people more aggressive so definitely this is still basic research because it explores how stress levels make people more aggressive and last one, a study looking to see if gender stereotypes lead to depression. So this is, again, a perfect example of basic research because it is more of understanding the phenomenon. So the phenomenon here is the gender stereotypes. So do the gender stereotypes uh, contribute to depression? Okay, so it doesn't give any practical solutions it doesn't suggest any solutions to specific problem but these three all of these research topics only try to dig deeper or to look into a certain research problem or into a research knowledge and they want to explore they want to know more about those research topics so definitely this is or these are examples of basic research now, this time, let's have the three examples for the applied research. So, remember that applied research is very different from the basic research. So, remember if basic research is more of exploring or understanding a specific phenomenon or action or event or body of knowledge, applied research on the other hand is trying to look for the possible solutions or practical solutions to a specific problem 
So let's start with number one. So the example here is a study on how to improve reading comprehension among senior high students. So what could be the problem here? So the topic is about improving reading comprehension among senior high school students. So perhaps the reading comprehension is low, okay? And so the study aims to know how to improve the reading comprehension so definitely the end game of this research if this will be carried out will be a practical solution to improve the reading comprehension among the senior high school students so this is really an example of an applied research now the second one is a study to find ways to make car tires last longer so this is a very scientific type of research so it's more of the stem so on the second part so this is very um, practical so the study aims to find ways or to find different ways to make the car tires to make the car wheels last longer so probably the problem is the car tires are not lasting longer than what the other people or what others are expecting it to last longer so in this case the study or the researchers of this study aim to find ways maybe to invent something to create an alternative to make the car tires last longer so since it proposes a solution it proposes probably a product that would answer the problem so this is an applied research now the last one is the study exploring ways to cook gluten-free meals with a limited budget wow so this is perfect for home economic students to our cookery students in the tvl strand or the tvl track so here a uh, study exploring ways to cook gluten-free meals with a limited budget so the problem here most problem is the limited budget and so the study wants to know the different ways or the different um, steps uh, to cook or to different ways they want to search they want to find out how to cook gluten-free meals but only with a limited budget so since the end game of this study will be let's say a recipe okay or it could be like um, different procedures again how to cook gluten-free meals with a tight and a limited budget therefore there's a product and that's the solution that's the suggestion for improvement that's a suggestion to solve a problem so definitely number three is a perfect example of applied research now that you know the differences between a basic and an applied research, it's now your turn to identify the following. So I'll be showing you different research topics. So you can go grab a pen and you can pause this video while you're reading and analyzing the following research topics. So here are the answers to our short activity so let's check let's check your knowledge number one is a study examining whether a vegetarian diet is healthier than one with meat this is definitely a basic research number two a study to find what marketing strategies to use on college campuses this is applied number three a study on how to prevent mosquito bites from itching this is applied for a study searching for ways to encourage senior high school graduates to attend college applied and number five a study seeing what areas of region 4a calabarzon have the most rain so this is basic here in the senior high school all of your research subjects practical research one practical research two or even research project so research project is the inquiries investigations and immersion so all of those subjects are called applied subjects so applied subjects meaning this subject is contextualized or depending on the strand that you have chosen so in other words you are going to be conducting research investigations or research studies in the strand that you are currently in so for example you are in the humes or the humanities and social sciences so most likely all of your research investigations would revolve around the humanities and the social sciences for stem students and abm students so their research studies will involve 
um, exploration in a business for ABM or marketing and for STEM it will be in the science and technology engineering and mathematics so that's why we call it um, the applied subject okay so you as a senior high school student so now that you know the difference between the applied and the basic research so which one are you going to have for your research one well uh, I know it's too early to decide on that, but uh, since we are done with our first lesson video, so let us have um, the summary of our lesson for today. So I prepared them for you. So here they are. Today, you learn that research is a systematic study to explore new knowledge and find practical solutions to problems. We research to obtain fresh insights about a phenomenon, accurately describe a person, situation, or group, determine frequency or associations, and test the hypothesis of causal relationships between variables. Basic research is also called pure or fundamental research. It focuses on understanding and exploring more a particular phenomenon. On the other hand, applied research is a type of research looking to find practical solutions for existing problems. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and I hope you learned a lot today so if you have any questions please comment down below your questions and i will try my best to answer all of them and also don't forget to like this video subscribe on my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell below so that you will be updated especially in the practical research one video series that i'm creating in my channel so thank you and again see you again on my next video have a great day bye